Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 16 through 20. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 16. A Linux system manager has just acquired a compressed file. Which command from the options below is suitable for unpacking the file? The answer is a unzip dash v file name dot zip. The unzip command is designed to extract files from a compressed zip archive. In this case, the file name dot zip archive. As for the dash v option, this displays detailed information about the extraction process when a zip file is specified. Question 17. A Linux system administrator is troubleshooting an issue related to the system journal. In which of the following files would they find the journal configuration settings if running systemd? The answer is a forward slash at c forward slash systemd forward slash journal d dot conf. In the Linux environment, when utilizing the systemd in its system, the system administrator would typically navigate to the forward slash at c forward slash systemd directory to access configuration files related to various system services. Among these files, journal d.conf specifically pertains to the configuration settings for the systemd journal service. Within journal d.conf, administrators can fine tune a range of parameters that influence how the system journal operates. Question 18. A Linux administrator is assigned to establish resources via containerization. In contemplating the approach for this deployment, the administrator recognizes critical aspects such as portability, high availability, and scalability in a production environment. Given these considerations, which option would be best for the new design? The answer is D. Kubernetes. While Docker is a containerization platform that allows you to package and distribute applications and their dependencies in containers, Kubernetes is a container orchestration platform that provides features such as automatic scaling, load balancing, and self-healing capabilities. This allows for the management of containerized applications across multiple hosts and platforms. It also makes Kubernetes suitable for environments requiring high availability and scalability. Question 19. Which tool is frequently employed for crafting CI-CD pipelines in scenarios such as software development projects aiming for automated integration and deployment? The answer is C. Jenkins. Jenkins is widely chosen for crafting CI-CD pipelines due to its open-source nature, extensive plugin ecosystem, and flexibility in configuration. With these features in place, Jenkins is designed for building, testing, and deploying software applications. Other tools like Chef Puppet and Ansible are typically used for configuration management and infrastructure automation. Question 20. Which of the following commands will restrict all files created by the user Joe to have read-only permissions for the file owner? The answer is C. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. The umask command sets the default permissions applied to newly created files and directories, and the octal value, 377, sets the default permission to read only access for the owner. The command echo will print the string, umask 377, to the standard output. However, by itself, this will not actually set the umask value. To do this, we use the double greater than angle brackets to redirect the standard output to the dot bash rc file for Joe. This file holds runtime configuration settings specific to Joe's bash shell. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.